Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again everyone. Um, today, we will be discussing about arcs and chords in a circle. And um, this arcs and chords in a circle will deal mostly with um, a few theorems, maybe up until theorem 8. Um, this will talk mostly about the arcs and chords and different lines within the circle. Okay, and what are the properties of them? Okay, um, we would be dealing mostly with here with the measurements or the concept of congruence or bisection. When we talk about congruence first, let me just know. When we talk about congruence, meaning this is the symbol meaning congruent. Congruent. Uh, wait, let me change the spelling. It's wrong. Congruent. Okay. When we talk about congruent, meaning it's it has equal measurements. Okay. When we talk about congruence or congruent meaning it has e equal measurement, but the measurement is not, um, it's not written, okay? So, hindi siya binigay. It's not given, the measurement itself. Okay, you're just saying like, for example, segment AC is congruent to segment um, BC. Yeah. Even though you don't know the measurement, you know that they are, if, if the measurement will be given, they would be equal, okay? So, that is the concept of congruence. Congruence is used to denote the um, equality of two figures without giving the measurement itself, okay? And then we talk, we also have our concept about bisection. And when we talk about bisection or objects that are bisected, bisected, okay? It means that it is divided, divided into two equal parts, meaning... For example, I have this specific line here, and this midpoint is the point of bisection. This MP is the point of bisection, meaning if this entire line is, say, um, 10 units, if this line here at the, uh, from the end, other end up until the middle is 5 units, and the same goes from here to here, it's 5 units, okay? The concept of bisection means it's divided into two equal parts, and I cannot put that in any simpler terms for Okay, so I hope that you got that. Again, we focus mainly on the concept of bisection and congruence in our topic. Okay, so let's start with our theorem number one. And again, this would course up until theorem number eight, which would be about arcs and chords in a circle. Okay, theorem number one states that um, the common chord of two intersecting circles is perpendicular and is bisected by the line joined by the centers. Okay, so this one, majority of our theorems can be understood based on the sentence of the theorem itself or the statement of the theorem itself, okay? So trying to read this one, we will have this figure. Sabi daw dyan, sabi daw dyan. The common chord of two intersecting circles. So let's take this one first. The common chord of two intersecting circles. Sorry, let me just insert it. The common chord of two intersecting circles. If we have that, it means that we have two circles that is intersecting each other. So, say we have this one, this circle. It may be ugly. Maybe ugly. Huh? And this circle as well. Two intersecting circles. I hope that's clear. You have circles that are intersecting each other. At specifically two points. Okay? Circles that will intersect each other will only intersect at specifically two points only. This point. Let me use the red marker this point and then this point only and nothing more it cannot be more than three it cannot be just one when in when circles intersect they have two intersection points and it said there that the common chord of the two intersecting circle remember that we have this concept in um, circles that we have a chord right a chord is just simply the line joining two points in the circumference the line joining the two points in a circumference so say we have this Separate circle. Let's take again. We have this circle. If you have this one point and another point, if this line, the line joining them is called the chord. Okay? It may or may not pass the, cent the center. It's okay. But then again, we are talking about the chord. And it is said there that, let's take a look at this figure. That the line joining, okay, the common chord of, two the, of the two intersecting circles. We have this circle O. This one, circle O and circle P. Okay? And their point of intersection is this one, A and B. 
the point of intersection is A and B. And if we connect A and B, we know, let's try to isolate the figure. Let's try to isolate the figure. And we know that this A and B is just simply a chord in circle O. Let's bring it back. We also know that this A and B is also a chord in our circle P, right? Yeah, so let's bring it back. So again, this A and B is therefore their, what you call the common chord. Common chord is just simply the distance between the point of intersection of the two circles. It is the distance or the line joining the common, I mean the intersection point of two of the two circles. Tagalogin natin. Ito yung dalawang linya, ay ito yung dalawang point. I mean, sorry. Ito. Yan. You have these two circles. Remember the two intersection point here. At yung AB na yan, yung common chord na tinatawag natin, yaan yung line na mabubuo kapag ka pinag-intersect natin dalawang circle. Pag pinag-intersect natin dalawang circle, and of course, it will create two, two points. Itong point dito sa A and then point sa B. Okay, that is the common chord. So, saying that we have established already the concept of the common chord, it's the, uh, it's the line joining the two intersection points of the circles. Sabi daw dyan, let's go to the next one. Is perpendicular and bisected by, is perpendicular and bisected by the line joined by the centers. So, let's take a note first dito. Joined by the center. The line joined by the center. So, ang mangyari daw dyan, you will create a line. From the center of circle O and from the center of circle P, you will create a line. Okay? So, syempre, yung line na yun, spe that specific line, line OP, will pass through AB. Take note. Take note. Let me draw that again. Circle, circle. Let me make a good circle. Oh, come on. Okay, circle, circle. And then we have this specific line, right? The center of this circle and the center of this circle, when we try to connect that, it will, of course, intersect with the common chord. This is the common chord, this one. Common chord. Okay. It will intersect that. And when it intersects that, okay, what happens there is, sabi daw dito, let me just undo everything. Okay. Ang sabi daw dito is, it is perpendicular perpendicular and is bisected. When we talk about perpendicularity, it means it creates 90 degrees. And this perpendicularity will only exist if and only if. Yung perpendicular. Perpendicular. Will only exist if and only if you have two intersecting lines. And but in any case, intersecting lines are definitely more than one. Okay? It's more than one. Or, or at least two. Line. But may linen dyan. Okay. Line. Okay. Perpendicular. So therefore, if we have this AB, segment AB, and we have this segment OP, if we, if um, they intersect, it is said that it is perpendicular. And at the same time, it is bisected. And I did discuss to you about the concept of bisection, that if you are bisected, if that given line is bisected by another line or another point, meaning it's divided into two equal parts. Therefore, we can say that AC is congruent to AB. AC, this one, is congruent to AB. So, if we sabihin, it only means that if this is 6, then therefore this is also 6. And the entire line AB is equals to 12. I hope that is clear. So let me just write that down using our uh, ano, using um using proper terms. Okay. So if if for a while, if segment OP is perpendicular to segment AB. Oh wait, let me just uh, correct that properly. Okay. Um, segment OP is the line. Joining, joining, mali, joining the centers. Now, let's just write the given. Sige, 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 let's, let's have that. If segment OP is the line joining the centers, and we have um segment AB is the line 
joining the or is the common chord na lang is the is the common chord a b is the common chord okay we have this common chord and comma comma and we have segment op is perpendicular okay and then, segment op is intersecting yeah is intersecting is intersecting segment a, B. Then, we can assume, then, doon na tayo sa then, if and then. Then, segment A, B is perpendicular to segment O, P. And, ay, ba't ang? And, um, segment A, C. Oops, sorry. Nang ko auto triangle. Segment A, C is congruent to segment PC. So again, for us to ano to satisfy the condition that it is perpendicular and it is um, bisected, this line AB is perpendicular to OP and this AC is congruent to BC, then we must have the condition of we must have two circles intersecting this circle O and circle P and we must have a common chord and lastly, OP is intersecting AB. Okay? So, that would be our theorem number one. And what is its um, implications? The implications would be, if you would be seeing any circle, so it's very simple, if you would be seeing any circle, like say circle and circle, if they have this common chord, okay, automatically the center will divide this two. Divide nyo yan. Okay? It will divide these two. That's it. That's the implication. And this is a 90 degree. Again, that is the only implication that would we that we would need from this theorem. If you would have a circ two circles intersecting, the common chord is always bisected and perpendicular to the line joining the centers. And that would be it. If I would ask you, say, um, say we have these two circles. We have these two circles intersecting each other and we have these two lines, okay? If this line is, say, 6, what do you think is the measure of the entire line? Of the big, of the common chord? Then, of course, sir, it would be 12. Kasi sabi nyo doon, the theorem number 1, that if there would be a line, even though I don't know, boys and girls, even though I don't know that this is perpendicular or this is bisected, automatically, I need to know Okay, that if I see this um, kind of setup, I have two circles with a common chord and this line joining the centers, automatically everything would be bisected in the, the chord, okay? Every chord will be bisected and at the same time, it would be perpendicular, okay? So that would be it for our theorem number one. So I hope that uh, you have learned something. The proof will be, of course, provided on a separate um. Uh, file that I will be sending to you. The proof is a little bit It's not long, but it would it might confuse you more if I would add it in this video. Okay, so thank you again for listening everyone If you'd have any other questions, uh, you can go to the video. We will proceed with theorem number two on the next video Thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh